What's going on? Vital Syntax here, and this is some more gameplay from the War Z. And just a couple days ago, we got to see this game in action for the very first time from the gameplay that they uploaded from the PAX Prime event in Seattle. And for me, that was one of the most anticipated gameplay videos ever. I think for a lot of people as well, because up until that point, we'd only seen screenshots for this game and heard all about all the concept art and all the different mechanics that they wanted to introduce in this game. We want to actually see it in action and actually see some gameplay. So for me, that was really exciting to see the gameplay and see it in action, see the communication that they had. And if you guys missed that video, I'll put a link in the description to the video I uploaded with the gameplay and some commentary that I did, uh, just talking about some of the mechanics that we saw in that video. Uh, but this video is kind of the second gameplay video we've ever seen for the War Z, and it really wasn't as publicized as the first one. I mean, the first one you could basically find... Uh, on a bunch of different YouTube pages, everybody basically that was in the gaming scene was, um, you know, putting on their website or tweeting about it or whatever. It was very well publicized, but this one was kind of just released under the radar, uh, probably because it wasn't an actual, like, tech demo. It's more of just this guy walking around showing you the terrain textures. Uh, and the video was titled something like, reload animation and terrain textures and it was uploaded and recorded by the executive producer. I'm not sure if this was even supposed to be released to the public. Maybe it was just trying to show uh, some of the different aspects of the game. But nonetheless, I'm glad to always look at more gameplay and I hope they release more, just maybe them walking around and showing off different things in the game because I would always like to see uh, this game in action. I'm really, really excited for it. But um, in this video, we're kind of seeing a couple of mechanics. The first one we get to see is kind of the switch between first and third person cameras. And you'll you'll notice that when he's in either or, he doesn't have the reticle on his screen, so he's playing in the hardcore game mode. And they've talked about they have these two different game modes. They're going to have just like a normal game mode, and they're going to have a hardcore game mode. And there's a couple of key differences. The key difference is that in hardcore, you have permadeath, which is what a lot of people love about DayZ and what a lot of people are going to love about this game. And when you die, you lose all your items and you have to start over from the beginning. Now, there might be certain mechanics in this game that allow you to save items into like a storage place where you can, you know, maybe not lose all your items, just lose the items that are actually on your person when you die. Um, but that's one of the key differences between uh, normal and hardcore mode. The other one is that you know you don't have a reticle on your screen, so you don't really know exactly where you're where you're looking until you're aimed down your sight. Uh, which I thought was kind of weird because in third person you don't look down your sight. When you're in third person and you you know, press the ADS button, which is presumably the right click. You just kind of zoom in, and there's no real indicator where you're pointing. So I don't know if they're going to add that. Even in hardcore, it would make sense to have some type of indicator. Or if you're in third person and hardcore, you just go into ADS like you were in first person. Uh, but anyway, we get a look at the zombie here. It's a headshot him with this M9. Um, and you can see it's a one-hit kill, which it well should be. I think they've already announced that this game is going to have realistic... Uh, zombie and bullet damages where zombies really only be killed from a headshot and it doesn't really matter what gun you're using if you shoot it in the head and you blow its brains out it's probably going to die but anyway I'm hopefully going to see some more gameplay uh, for War Z coming up here pretty soon and with the beta it's probably right around the corner and I'll definitely upload all the videos that I can uh, do on this game as they come along but uh, anyway thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video feel free to give me a like or a favorite and I'll see you in the next one bye